gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to give you all the necessary information about CPA, the Certified Public Accountant, uh, one of the hottest qualification in the world when it comes to professional accountancy. So let's jump into the discussion now. CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. It's a US certification, a very hot qualification, I would say, not only accepted in US, but in the entire world. When it comes to professional certification, especially in accounting, CPA is one of the best. Coming to the syllabus area, CPA consists of four different parts, or you can say four exams. The first one, uh, you can give them in any order, by the way. The first one is audit and attestation. The other one is business environment and concepts, financial accounting and reporting, and the last one is regulation. Uh, many students ask me which exam to give first. My answer is any. Whichever you feel comfortable in. The best part is, let's say, when, if I'm giving the exam, if I'm the student, I will go on with audit and attestation because that's one of my area of expertise. So you, out of these four, whichever you feel yourself comfortable in, let's say financial accounting reporting. If your financial accounting and financial reporting area is very strong, try to give this part first. So that gives you uh, the confidence that yes, you have cleared one part at least, another three to go. So all these exams can be given in any order depending upon your expertise, your comfort level with the syllabus area. Coming to the exam windows, these are the exam windows, uh, January to March, April to June, July, August and December. There are four exam windows in a year. You can give exam in any of these windows whichever you like, whichever suits your, you know, timetable. Passing marks, yes, I won't hide from you. To pass the CPA exam, any of these uh, syllabus areas, the four levels, you must score at least 75% marks. Although 75% marks is a little on the higher side, but that's why people value CPA qualifications. They know this person has passed all the four levels with a minimum threshold of 75 marks. That's why people look at you with respect if you are a certified public accountant. Cost. Yes, uh, like every professional qualification, you have one-time registration fee. In this case, it is USD 100 to $150, depending which jurisdiction you are registering yourself. You can register yourself in California, New York, uh, and any other jurisdiction. There are 55 jurisdictions for CPAs, okay? Local jurisdiction in the US. Exam fee, again, is $208 US dollars for each part. But this $208 is just an approximate figure I'm giving you. That was for the latest for California. But you can, it depends which uh, jurisdiction, which city, which state you want to register yourself. It could be less, it could be a little more. But on an average, I've just quoted you $208 for each part. One thing you need to remember is there is a constraint here, there is a limitation, like for CFA, you can give as many attempts you want and there is no maximum time to pass the certification. For CMA, once you register in CMA USA, you have three years to pass. But here, once you register, you have to pass all the four exams within 18th months, which is one and a half year. And again, when the clock starts ticking, depends on which jurisdiction you are. On an average, you can say once you register, first time for CPA, you, your clock starts ticking and you have 18 months to finish all the exams. And which is very important, you need to remember. Then comes documentation, especially if you are outside the US. If you're within the US, there are many document evaluation services, your college can have it done for your, that's not an issue. But if you are especially outside the United States of America, any other part of the world, you need to get your educational documents verified, evaluated by US NASBA approved International Evaluation Services. 
There are many, I have the names of few, but I don't want to promote them now. If you need to know their name, you can WhatsApp me, you can email me, I can give you, share the details with you. But it is very important, unless your documents are verified, you cannot register for CPA examination. So make sure, I know so many people, I know so many students who started studying for CPA, started preparing, investing a lot of time. When they sent their documents, they were not verified, they were not approved. They didn't have an appropriate uh, college qualification. So it's always advisable to get your documents verified and approved by US NASBA's approved document evaluation services so that you don't face problems later on. Coming to eligibility here. Generally, you need 120 credit hours, say three to four years bachelor's degree, depending which country you are from, uh, which university it is. But again, it varies depending on the jurisdiction. Sometimes, some for certain jurisdiction, they require 120 credit hours. Certain jurisdiction would require up to maximum 150 credit hours depending on whether you have a bachelor's degree, you are an honors degree, you have an associate degree, depends on, depending on what is your specific qualification. Coming for licensure, once you qualify the CPA exam, you need to get yourself licensed to work as a certified public accountant. For licensing, the requirement is you need to have one year experience, which include approximately 2,000 verified hours by a CPA license holder. So let's say if I am a CPA license holder, if you're working under me or if I'm your mentor, I should be verifying to AICPA, which is uh, American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. I'll be telling them, yes, I know Mr. X or Ms. Y. They have worked under me or I know that they have worked at least 2000 hours which are relating to accounting, finance, auditing, risk management, you know, the allied, uh, you know, areas, the relevant areas. Another thing is very important. I don't want to name the country, but there are certain other countries other than US who have their own CPAs. With due respect to all of them, my job is to tell you the truth. The truth is internationally, when it comes to CPA, CPA from AICPA, that is American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, are the most in demand. I'm not saying other CPAs are not worth anything. They are, but when it comes to the most in demand, CPAs from AICPA are the best in the world. Highly demanded, recognized all over the world. As I said, with due respect to other countries, they have their own CPAs. Yes, they have their own worth but the most recommended, recognized internationally is CPA from AICPA. Uh, guys, I hope you found this video interesting. If you have any queries and questions relating to CPA, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will respond to you. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Uh, let me know if there is any other professional certification relating to accounting and finance you need to know. I will prepare a video, I will make a video on that. Guys, thank you so very much for your precious time.